My name is Eric Johnson. I became involved in Splinter Cell in August 2011, and um, they had put out a call for to 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 be the next Sam Fisher, and uh, it was something that I I immediately wanted to do with with every fiber of my body. Um, had been aware of the, obviously had played the games and and uh, getting the opportunity to be a part of a franchise that is so so renowned so storied um, you know I'd been a fan of Michael Ironside for a long time I'd worked with him when I was a kid and uh, so I had tremendous amount of respect for him and so to be able to um, sort of pick up the mantle and 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 move the franchise forward in his in his steps was was huge for me uh, so I th that's how I became involved and it's it's been almost two years of uh, an incredible learning experience and a, a whole lot of fun. This was my first motion capture. I mean, all my work had been in, in, in television and film. And uh, so going into it, there's a bit of a learning curve, just the technical side of things, but fundamentally your job is the same. Um, but for me, it was interesting. It's like for the first time in a long time, I was doing my job in a new form. So it had opened, it had opened up a whole other world. And, and so it was really exciting in that, in that regard. I mean, then there's technical requirements that, you know, we have the, the helmet cams on and stuff like that that can limit you in certain ways. It can change your body language, so you have to be aware of that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it ends up be being incredibly free at the same time. It's more like a theater experience where you have, you're using your imagination with a lot of things, if you can see behind me. Um, and, and so it, it becomes a little more immersive in that way, like you, you're required to, to, to really get into it because it's it's like doing green screen or something like that you're pretending everything is there you know so it's uh it's been a lot of fun i think the wildest part was what you saw here today was with the motion uh of the camera like the, the the virtual camera being right in there and so you're looking at graphics on the screen that are happening in real time that the computer is doing and because they could play back the scene just like as we saw after we shot it and that's how good games look just like eight ten years ago that was like the level of the game and we're getting that in real time instantaneously that when that happened that blew my mind and we were all giddy when they put it up on the screen you could see you could see yourself moving around the volume as the character it just, just changed you get to play an action here I you don't always get that opportunity right so it's for me it's it's like being a kid again and you know you're playing this awesome game of pretend and and again getting to learn a new technical side getting to learn tactical things um, and you know not that I want to be breaking people's tracheas in real life but it's you know all these other things that you get to know it's like always new experiences great people to work with so um, you know if, if everybody loves this game then hopefully we're back to do another one what are you planning we're past planning it's a trap get out of there now